Does having an Accutane purge mean I'm on my way to getting better? That's the question that we're going to talk about today. Hello, I'm Dr. Arthur Kolsky, founder and medical director of Advanced Acne Institute. We're a dermatology practice solely focused on treating acne, and that's all we do. And we have certain insights and experiences that we like to share with acne sufferers from a purely educational or informational standpoint as they navigate their path toward clear skin. But remember, this is not intended to be medical advice. So the question today concerns whether having worsening of acne, which many people refer to as the Accutane purge, although it's not really a purge, it's just a worsening of acne prompted by certain effects of Accutane. And, the, and as I discussed in prior videos, almost any medicine that we use to treat acne can induce a worsening in the beginning and sometimes later on in the, in the course of treatment as well. So it's not unique to Accutane, but Accutane is one that is known to have a significant risk of this. So some patients feel that having this purge is actually a good sign because it means that after they get through the purge, they're gonna ultimately get better and they feel comfortable and confident that that's a good thing to happen to them. So what's the reality? Is it really a good thing to have to have and endure a purge of acne while on Accutane? So let's talk about this. So let's look deeper into the story. Now, about a third, more or less, of patients, at least judging by our experience at Advanced Acne Institute, experience worsening of acne when they initiate treatment with Accutane. Now, the majority of patients, it's a pretty mild increase of acne breakouts, but there are those who have more of a moderate increase and some even, thankfully not very commonly, but some experience a very severe worsening of acne when initiating Accutane treatment. So it's something that we take very seriously and we monitor for that in the beginning of treatment. Now, every now and then I'll have a patient who says they want to go through the purge because their friends had the purge and after they had this purging, they got better and now their skin looks great. And what I try to explain is that having worsening of acne is really not our goal. We're not giving you medicine to make your acne worse. We're trying to make your acne better. Now, it is true that we can't predict who's gonna have this type of a purging effect or worsening effect, but what we can do is watch for that, and if we start to see that, we can try to take steps to mitigate that, to lessen the likelihood that that will continue to be a problem. Because what's the concern? The concern is that if you experience a very large breakout, you might end up with more scarring. As those big breakouts heal, they might leave more scarring. So we don't want that. So we try to do whatever we can to make that as low level as possible and, and do whatever we can to reduce the chances of that. So some things that we do, for example, we use a very low dose in the beginning, we monitor, we take steps to adjust the treatment if we see something happening, but ultimately it's something that is a part of the risk of using any treatment for acne. So is it a good idea to let that happen so that we can get over that hump and, and start getting better? Well, in my opinion, we want to mitigate that. We want to lessen that likelihood because it's not required that you go through a purging effect in order to get better. If we start, as I said, with a lower dose, or if we make some changes to the regimen so that we lessen that severity or the likelihood that that will occur, then sometimes we can be successful in doing that. Then it might take a little bit longer to get there, but we might get there without having a very severe worsening of our acne. And again, that can lessen the likelihood of a permanent scar developing. And the other thing is, some people do have a very severe worsening in the beginning, and sometimes it persists. So there are those patients, very uncommonly, that they, even at low doses, they have a big flare-up of their acne, and it can become very nodular and cystic, and it can leave very large scars. Now, in our practice at Advanced Acne Institute, we don't want that to happen. So we try to make every step 
to prevent that. But there are, again, there are those patients who are very committed to wanting to go through that period because they're certain that if they don't go through that period, that they just won't get better. So the answer is, there is a group of patients that will experience worsening. We try to do whatever we can to mitigate that, to lessen that risk. But it is not something that we should look forward to. It is not something that we need to go through in order to get better on the other side. Now, it's true that after a month or so, a lot of patients, after they do get worse, they start getting better. But it, sometimes it's much more than a month. Sometimes it can be so severe that you end up with lots of scarring on your face or body, and it can be very significant and lead to very prominent scars that can be persistent and lifelong. So the answer is we try to not have that happen. And for those who are looking forward to that, we try to discuss with them the reasons that we try to avoid that. And usually they understand and we're able to have a safe treatment going forward. 